Welcome back to the channel and I think firstly you need to kick things off with an apology and that apology is because there was no video posted on the channel last week and that's just simply because of one reason it's not because we haven't got any money it's not because I haven't been searching on the internet to try and buy one and it's certainly not because my pen has run out of ink well it's simply because for love nor money I can't seem to find a single car on the internet which is worth buying. The price of second-hand used cars seem to have just absolutely doubled in the last few weeks. But then, something extraordinary happened. And I'm still pinching myself now because I can't quite believe it. I've bought a 58 plate polo and I can't believe actually that I'm standing here saying this because it all happened so quickly. It's the first time we've ever got behind the wheel of a car together after we've just bought it. Now there's a little bit of a story behind this one and it's actually quite awesome really. This car came up for sale maybe over a week ago from a guy that I know for just a sum of £1,800. I tried to buy it off him, but he wouldn't sell it to me because he had so many people interested in buying it that he knew he was going to get his full asking price, which he did. He sold it to a lady round the corner for full asking price, and just over a week later, she has now put the car back up for sale because she's been handed down another one. But anyway, we've jumped a few steps ahead here. So I was scrolling on Facebook, I was playing around with my distance and it refreshed the feed and this came up and it said this car had been online for 15 minutes. Now, I've had a few cars pinched off me from a local dealer in town and I didn't want him to snap this one up. So I quickly messaged the lady and said, would you be able to sort of accommodate me to come and view the car? Which she did. But before she had a chance to reply, I actually went to see if the car was still on the driveway because I knew where it was, I could tell by the pictures and I didn't want to miss out. So I jumped behind the wheel of my car, I drove around the corner because it is literally half a mile around the corner. The car was still there. By this point, the lady had replied to say that it was available to be viewed. Okay, I said, okay, I'll be there in two minutes. Little did she know I was already outside. I had a little look around the car. I thought, it is what it is. There's a few things that need doing, but I can't miss out on this one again. I've been currently trying to find cars that are 200 miles away. This one's so close to home, I can't miss out on this opportunity. So I viewed the car. I went for a test drive. I took it somewhere local where I could stop, look underneath the car, proper investigate without anyone breathing down my neck. I also rang Chris, the guy who sold it to this lady previous, to ask if there's anything I should look out for. I went back to the lady's house and offered her straight up a sum of money and she took it straight away, there and then. And I couldn't believe how lucky I was to find this and for her to agree the price. But that's true, everything happens for a reason. So, I then left the lady to it to empty her stuff out of the car and walked back round with the money, did a bank transfer, and here we are now with the car. But you're probably guessing, why did she sell the car so cheap and so soon after she just bought it? Because that really rings a red flag. But we haven't always got to be cynical. Things happen in life, weird and wonderful things happen, people's situations change, which obviously is the reason why we've managed to get this car. And for this lady, her situation just changed. So she needs to get rid of the car because she didn't have the space on the driveway, which is a massive help for us because it benefits the channel. It's gonna help us get one step closer to getting that transporter and everything happens for a reason. And I'm a strong believer in that.
the wing mirror definitely needs some paint on it. I think someone's painted it with white sand. Now, it probably won't be time for him to the dress, but the rear bumper has been, well, a bumped a couple of times to say the least. But all these scratches along the top here, we can probably polish them out. We might better do something with the rust on this door handle as well. Another thing with the polo is the cam belt has no history of being replaced. So I'm not 100% sure on it, but this may be something that we get sorted just for peace of mind for the next buyer. Because I certainly wouldn't buy a car on 100,000 miles almost, which didn't have a cam belt and didn't really have service history. So those two are really important things to try and get sorted on this. The interior on this Polo is really grubby. Oh, This driver's wing has definitely seen better days and it is, well, a bit like a beach, but I'm sure we can sort something out with this. I know a guy who's good at paintless dent removal and he might be able to sort this out a tree. But even with all those things taken into consideration, I still think we can make strong profit on this car. I would like to see us put this thing up for sale, probably in the region of two and a half thousand pounds. Now, once I tell you how much we paid for this, I think your eyes are gonna water and you're gonna be quite impressed. I still can't quite believe that we're in this position right now. Last night I was pulling my hair out trying to find a car and then all of a sudden this one just fell in our lap like it was meant to be. But we can't get too sentimental because we've got lots of work to do to get this thing ready to be sold. The little Polo has quite a few little things that could be done with it to make it a better car. However, I don't think we are going to be able to get all of them done because we need to try and make a profit on this. And even with some slight defects, I reckon we'll be able to still get this sold, no questions asked. But let's have a little walk around and see some of the things that need doing and just have a general look around the car. So starting off around the front, there's a few bumps and scrapes as expected. We've got some aftermarket wheels which are off a Volkswagen Golf maybe. I think they're a Volkswagen Montreal. Obviously, as we've seen, this wing mirror cap is absolutely destroyed. That definitely needs painting because that looks awful. It's obviously had some rust repair done on the sill because it's got some black paint on it. This side of the car really isn't too bad. On the back, not too bad. We've also got this paint coming off around the boot latch and it's a bit scuffed along the top of the bumper. As we come round, we've got a mark on the center of the bumper and on this driver's side corner. But I don't think we're gonna have room in our little pot to get them done. Coming around to the driver's side then, Again, it ain't too bad. It just needs a bit of a clean up, a bit of a polish. And we're probably going to be laughing. This wing is probably the worst part of the bodywork. So if we can get something done with that on the cheap, then that will be good. Heading inside the car then. Again, not too bad. It just needs a really good clean because it is pretty grubby in here. Electric windows in the front. In the back here, that all needs a good clean as well. A bit dirty. We'll get we'll get the auto finesse products on that, and that will sort that out an absolute treat. But as we come in, car's done ninety-seven thousand miles. Again, it is just really dirty in here. Needs a good wet back, good scrub. Aftermarket radio will help sell it. And a lovely Yankee candle air freshener. Plan of action then with the Polo. We need to get the car serviced. We need to get the wing mirror cap painted. We do need to carry out an auto finesse big detail, get the interior and exterior nice and clean. Touch up any paintwork that is looking a little bit rubbish. Potentially change the cam belt depending on cost and potentially sort out that wing depending on the cost too. We've got a time scale of three weeks and an estimated sale price of £2,500. I 
unfortunately that is all we have got time for so if you have enjoyed the video and you are enjoying the content on the channel be sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button because it really does help the channel grow and without you guys we wouldn't be doing this so thank you so much and uh, well we'll catch you in the next one when we start to see how well this polo is going to come out and i'll finally tell you guys how much we paid for it catch you in the next one